we're up and running, everything is functional. So, last time was a little bit chaotic. Um, so, the party had a short period of respite. And after a while, decide we with the with the, a little bit of insistence from um from Zach from Zanis and Kay, the party decided to try and get ahead, try and get the um get the jump on a lot of on the cult. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to try not to hiccup. Pardon me, that's the above. Whoops. Um, the party basically we're gonna try and get a bit of a uh bit of a jump ahead of the cult and attempt to acquire the L to acquire the heirloom before they'd even realized that the group had redeployed. However, upon your travel at, upon your traveling through the uh, the marshland of Reveny, you encounter you encountered a large looming silhouette that turned out to be this very large this very large grotesque hound thing that I the I dropped the name of the Abyssal Eldritch Mauler. And it appears to be a spawn of some sort of spawn of the Lillian Beast herself. I will repost its image just so in the chat, just so you guys can remember what it looks like. But simply put, the party were preparing to fight this thing. And it got it got the first move. Proceeded to bite into se several party members, doing big damage, and eclipsed biting Letizia, knocking her from full health to nearly instantly dead in one tap. So, already a good start. So we begin from the first first person initiative that is Norlin, as Letizia is currently on the floor making death saves. Uh, wow. At least she succeeded the first one. She did. Yeah. So, Norland's Norland's turn. He is going to use his first two his first action to cast full cure on Letizia. Uh, so you just. Um, I think I remember her max HP off by heart, but I don't. And then it's going to haste you. Putting it in the middle of the group, so everybody now has haste you. So let me just apply that to my notes. Oh right, yeah. Just as a reminder, Luna, you are you are currently bleeding from where it used the crunch on you. Yeah. From where you went crunch. Just in case. Like, yeah. <laughs> just in case you've forgotten, Luna is currently no, bleeding out. It's it, it's like three D twelve or something. That is exactly what remember. it is. Yeah. I've been like bleeding yeah. out for like a week. Well, it's been, been a like week, and I can fucking remember. Th I take three D twelve bleed, bro. Yeah. Luna has now started drowning in her blood. Yes. Oh, I've been away today. Yeah. I never did go away. So, Nolan is then going to follow this up with one of his blood with his bloodline rune that he was taught from Astra. Deus and Whisper. So, I'm gonna make a little note. with me a second because I have to actually write this down. I can't spell. No, no, no. I can't spell. No. Okay. <sighs> So, 
So that's reactions. Nolan is then going to use his bonus act, his bonus action to uh, activate the uh, his spiritual balancer, setting it to non-elemental. And is then going to move a small distance away, whilst basically trying to holler at the at the beast and get its attention. And yeah, no, it does not seem at all interested at the moment. Um, that is the end of Nolan's turn. It's all three actions: it's full cure, haste, Deus whisper, script answer. Yeah. Uh, meaning the next person to act is oh Alec, who's uh, uh, question to the party: Do I just do I just whip it? Do I just whip it out immediately? Yeah, whip it out, <laughs> come on. Let me see it. Okay. Bit unusual, but sure. <laughs> I am a bit unusual. You are unusual. So, Alec, for his first action... Are you quite done there? No. <laughs> Pain in the ass. What me? Okay. Um, where is it? I'm being brainless. Hold on. Ah, there it is. Alec is going to use his first act, his first action to dual cast, casting a Moment of Prescience and Time Spell Surge. So, not. It's action one. Alec has two actions, but there's a haste here. Okay. I'm going to get my phone to use as a calculator because I can't be asked to do this maths mentally. Um, Alec is then going to use his next three his next three actions. Two of those are going to be dual casting Greater Quicken. And he's going to give Greater Quicken to Alice. To Alice, to Luna, to Arolus. And to uh, and to Penton, no, Yuzak. Yeah, you want to give me that next round. And then he is then going to use uh, his final dual cast. Is then going to be Greater Quicken, Greater Quicken on Penton, followed by Timeless Body. So that is fifty-four MP spent. How long does Greater Quicken last? Uh, it will basically trigger your next turn. Shit. So it's during your next turn, you can take, a, you can take an additional round's worth of actions. If you don't use it, it will disappear. Wait, what was the thing you gave Alice? So, basically, you now have Greater Quicken, meaning that you can take mm -hmm. another round's worth of actions, so, whereas Alice would normally be taking six actions, because she's got four plus haste. You can now yeah. take a second round worth of actions as well. There you go. I do 12 actions. Bingo. That also means oh my lord, two, okay. Also Jesus means two, bo two bonus actions, two reactions. So, oh God. enjoy. Um, next person to Just for one round though, right? Yes, so if you do not use all of those actions this round, then gone. They're wasted. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, okay, so this, the next person to act is Kay, who is going to uh, use her bonus action to trigger Light Art Celerity, and then is immediately going to follow that up with Eternal Beacon of Starlight. Using... Uh, yeah. Uh... Oh wait, <laughs> she already had it active. Never mind. I f she had it fucking active ages ago because it doesn't have a duration. 
Okay. Okay, I see you. So, Eternal Beacon of Starlight. Um, E-Boss, as I'm going to call it. Uh, she is then going to... Oh fuck, right, yeah, I forgot. Kate Kate's now got high the high level um She's gonna dual pass mass folkier using uh, uh where is it? That will do it's a thirty foot radius. Uh healing everybody up to max health. So please top up your HP. Oh, okay. And is then going to follow that up by casting auto raise on herself. Action one, so that's minus. Fucking maths, that's minus 16 MP. Uh, she's then going to use her second action to. Which one was it? To. Use her guardian aspect attunement, attuning to the spirit of the bear. So for the next, how many? So for the next ten rounds, she will have plus six to strength, advantage on strength checks, and she will half piercing, slashing, and bludgeoning damage. Uh, that's action two. She's got two left. Uh, who normally so he gets fuck brain cells, please. Okay, she's then going to follow up by casting she by dual casting shell five, casting it on uh, casting it on Alec. Wait, hang on, no, Alex, Alex, fucking timeless body, doesn't he? Oh, never mind. Um, casting Shell 5 on Luna and Yuzok. Uh, I can actually spell. That's action 3. Last action. Uh, last action, she is going to uh, cast Scathing. It's going to switch, use a free action to swap to Light Arts. And she is then going to cast Scathing Starlight. Jesus Christ, God, you've gone through so much MP. Rolling a. Seven. Rolling a 72 to hit, which misses. So as you watch as she powers this spell up and it whew, whiffs completely and misses its target. That is the end of her turn. Next person to act is Alice. Okay, I've been reading a lot of stuff, so... Um, first I'm going to activate Dark Side. Okay. It's active. Okay, then I'm going to do... Yep. Uh, la, 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 just look here. Can I do Warlord's Mark? Two seconds. I have to re oh no, I have to deal one point of damage to them. Yes. Okay. Ignore me. Coming back to that. Did you top up your health before um before you started your turn? I was I was hit. Yes, you are missing HP. You shouldn't be missing twenty health. Hold on, let me update that for you. Wait, what? I mean, you got full cured, my guy. 
Yep, I've, up oh. I've, I've updated your HP. Total. I was too busy reading fucking spells. <laughs> That's totally fine. I've updated it for you, so you're now missing only the 20 HP from activating Dark Side. Oh, thank you. Perfectly Sorry, fine. I was focused on <laughs> reading all the like different abilities. I completely missed that. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Can I use harm touch yep you will need to move up to it just so you're aware yeah that's fine scoot scoot okay i'm touching it oh. okay roll to hit okay uh... What do I add onto that? So it'll be the 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 D twenty you're rolling, and it's a fourth level spell. Yeah. Yes. So it will be on your combat. Um, it's just an ability. Oh, harm touch the ability. Fuck. Right. Yeah. That'll be um. Let me just double check. So. Oh, it has to make a saving throw. Harm touch. No, that's for the rest. of- What? Okay, so that'll be um. So that'll be. Uh, 51 you're adding to that. Your highest level charisma, charisma okay. bonus. Seventy. That does not hit. Is there a way to get it to crit, though? Well, it doesn't hit, so... Do they still make a saving for us? No, because you didn't hit it. Boo! Okay, fine. Right, time to find the next thing. Okay, can I do War Sense? Where I, I need to, to make a myself. perception check. Yep. A perception. Sorry. Sorry, I'm just reminding myself of what the ability does. Yeah, I need to make a perception check against them, and they must beat a DC of ten plus my CR. You're beating a DC of ten plus its CR. You're rolling the target, I do believe. Yeah. 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 So yeah, you would, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to be rolling. You need to roll a perception check that beats its CR plus ten. Yes. So. Yes. Please roll. Don't suppose uh, Penton has given us any of that nice. Uh, Penton has not taken his stuff. turn yet. Penton hasn't taken his turn yet, so Got no. That. Why is my aura active? No. Hmm? Why is my aura active? Uh, I guess I activated it before. Uh, no, for oh, shit. Uh, this, is, this is probably from where I've grabbed all of the um, the rangers and basically just slapped them down. Forty-one. Is that hit? Forty-one. That is a fail. Oh my god, why do I even try these? I should just ignore my abilities and just do something useful. I mean, it's not it's not a bad a bad call. It's just that this thing is incredibly powerful, especially since it is a spawn what appears to be directly a spawn spawned directly from the Lillian Beast herself. Considering how powerful and terrifying she's been made out to be, it would make sense that this thing is quite fucking scary as well. Is it worth me doing analysis? Probably not. Um, analysis, analysis, analysis. Let me... You know what? It makes sense if I just look at your sheet rather than trying to... Uh, analysis. Let me find it. Oh no, that's an arc arcana check. Oh no, I might win this. I might actually win this. I mean, you have a second bonus action, so go for it. Yeah. 
Okay, let's do analysis. And then I have to choose which one of the things I want to do. Mm -hmm. Um, I might go for Flummox. Flummox, yes. Flummox. Okay, target needs to make a wisdom save of DC 10 plus half blue mage level plus intelligence modifier. Oh, wait, huh? So 20 plus are in your intelligence modifier. But I, but I need to do an arcana, right? Uh-huh. So you would need to make that Arcana check, and then if you succeed, it will then have to make the save. Okay, right. Arcana check. Fine. Uh, what did you roll? So I rolled a 75, but it says Arcana check of DC 10 plus target CR. In that case, it would fail. But what of DC 10? Oh, there. Yes. Oh my 10 god. Pl 10 plus tar target CR. In this case, no, that fails. Bloody hell. Okay. Right, well, guess we're going back to the good old bonky stick. Go for it. Bonky stick time. Okay, I'm gonna roll to. Seventy-two. Miss. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I didn't roll very high. Seventy-three. Also a miss. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. One more time before I move on to something else. Valid. Seventy-eight. Also a miss. Right. Fuck that. <laughs> God <Sorry>. sake. <laughs> I cannot hit it. I cannot hit it. Ooh, runes. Okay. Runes come to me. You better have something. Uh, let's soul drain. Okay. Please make a con and a wisdom save. A con and a wisdom save. Uh, what's the DC? Great question. A hundred and six. A hundred and six. Yes. Uh, it succeeds the con save, and it succeeds the wisdom save, but not by much. Oh. So, I, if memory serves correctly, it takes half damage. So you still do the damage, but it takes half. Um, do not bother rolling the MP damage, as it has no MP pool. Interesting. So, uh, what level am I? Good, great question. I should probably know. That. 
Uh, it should say to the left of it. If you, well, to the left, to the right of it. Yeah. Unless I haven't updated that, but let me do double check. No, it's that, that's correct. <laughs> so, that's correct, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's fine, don't worry about it. So, 37 D8. Mm -hmm. No, D4, D4. D8. D4 is the MP damage. Well, no, but it's only half. Uh-huh. So you roll the 37 D8, and then I'll divide the num the result of that by 2. And divide by 2. Okay. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> so, 172 divided by 2. Okay, 172 divided by 2. So there's 86 non-elemental damage, which you are healed for. And I heal it! Woo! Okay, put pop the damage in, and there we go. Right, now I'm going back to that that whatever that thing was. Wait, how many of how many actions have I done? Uh, I three of those. Three, of three those. melee attacks, two bonus actions. So three actions, two action two bonus actions. That was your fourth action. Yeah. So you have two more remaining, and then if you're planning to use your um, your Great Equipment or not. If I don't use it, I don't get it next round, right? No, you do not. Uh, if you look at the chat... Yeah, so I've got to use it. Yeah, okay, I've got to use it. Uh, if you could look at the chat for a second, Alice, I've just uh, popped down a suggestion if, in case you want to wanna make use of that plan that you were pondering prior to session start. Yes, yes, I did want to do that. I did, I did. Okay, we're going to use Warlord's Mark. That'll be a free so action. So I can I'll mark them as a free action. Yep. And for half of my charisma modifier is rounds, they suffer minus eight to hit against all dudes that aren't targeting. So for the next. Oh, I hope they're not mindless. It looks like it has a mind. It does have a mind. Thank God. So it's minus eight to hit. There we go. Okay. So we'll now take minus eight. Wow, look at me go. I did something useful. So it will now take minus eight to hit. Whenever it isn't targeting you, Alice. Whee! And that will last for the next 21 rounds. Wow, I love myself. That's three actions. So you have two actions remaining, and then whatever you intend to do with your grief weapon. Ignore me fidgeting in the background. I'm also just... <laughs> just... Uh, uh. Can I use Libra? Yep. That might mean. Wait, like, is okay. there wisdom good? I can't remember. Uh, this was. No, the wisdom was. The wisdom was the one that I was kind of okay on. Yeah. Fun. It might be an idea of trying to use that after somebody. after it's been debilitated a bit. The, okay. It does okay. appear to be running circles around you at the moment. Can do that. Okay. 
Um, let me look at my spell. <clears throat> okay, it will probably succeed all the saving throws. Uh, have you looked at your intelligence DCs? Yeah, it's really high. Mm-hmm. She's a smart girl. Okay, let's go crazy, mm -hmm. and let's cast Rocket Punch. Please make a con save. Uh, that... what's the DC? Hundred and five. Uh, it succeeds. Okay, R.I.P. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> okay, this thing is good at con saves, so... Hmm. So I'm just trying to find a good spell. Um, if you wouldn't be above a suggestion, you if you're having trouble hitting it, Please. your mul your multi mm -hmm. multicast two is an automatic hit. It's an auto hit spell. Ooh, yay! Let's do that. Okay. Would you like? Would you like some help? Would you like some help with it? And can I dual cast it? You certainly may. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna dual cast multi cast two. Okay. So roll roll me two sets of two d four. So that'll tell you how many how many missiles you're firing off. Or how many little bolts you're shooting. Yes, that's Okay, six and four. Okay. So then can you roll me a six D eight for the first one? To work out what elements it is. And then four D eight for the second. Was that useful? Yep. Okay. So... Bear with me, I'm just doing the maths here. So... Doing numbers, please bear with me. Just because I'm, you can probably see that I'm typing in the chat at the moment. Just because I'm working out what to get you to roll, because then this is all separated out nicely. Oh, sorry. No. It's yeah, fine. no, it's I've fine. not been looking at the chat because I've been looking at six hundred other things. No, that's perfectly fine. This is literally just a case of me making sure I've got no, I've typed it out for you. So once all is figured out. Okay, so. Yeah. Can you roll me? 
two sets of 4d6. Start. Mm hmm. The exact same. And then roll 8d6 eight D, eight D twice. Yes. And then the last one, 16d6. Okay. Okay. So, as you do, as you dual cast, multicast two, you deal twenty six points of fire damage. That it see. Um. You do fifty nine points of holy. So. Uh. 26 points of earth damage, 14 points of wind, and 14 points of lightning. So it seems to have a very intense, averse reaction to the holy fire. Sorry, I'm having to double check things. And wind damage. It takes... It only takes... It only takes down a holy and from the holy damage. Okay. As it see, it seems to have a very intense averse reaction to the fire. Sorry, I'm just having to make two sets of notes. Um, can somebody would somebody mind uh, writing these elements out for me? So it is fire, wind, and holy, and, ho and holy. That it seems to have this intense adverse reaction to. It seems to shrug off the lightning. Uh, yeah. I feel like I'm missing one. I'm staring right at it and I'm already blipping. Water? Uh, Did I hit it with water? Fire. Yeah, the fire. Earth. Um, it seems to completely nullify Earth. And whilst it doesn't take any damage from it, it has an intense, averse reaction to the fire, holy, and wind damage. And whilst it resists it, it seems to have... I'm just basically going to say this as a DM. You appear to have found a couple of potential weak points but you haven't done enough damage to punch through its resistances. The holy damage, however... Sorry, I'm being very slow in how I'm wording this, but... You end up doing... You end up hitting a weakness with the holy damage, doing 78 points of damage. Man hates religion. <laughs> okay, so you bro. Have, you have a confirmed... You, you can confirm now, it halves lightning, nullifies earth, and is weak to fire, wind, and holy. Epic. Okay, now I'm gonna wave my sword in the air. Okay, so you're using spell magnet, yes? Yeah, spell magnet. Sorry, I was <laughs> trying to find what it was called. That's perfectly fine. It was like the thing where I just stand there with my weapon in the air for an entire round going, please, someone give me a spell. Uh, um, do I get do I get to use bonus actions? Uh, you, have, you have used both of your bonus actions already. Oh, I've used them all already. Okay. Yes, one okay, for... I'm standing there. She's all good. One for analysis, the other for dark side. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to jump past a couple people to use Zok, just to set some stuff up. So, it's five total actions. Yuzok is going to start off by using Geo Amplify. 
So, for the next... For the next 56 rounds, all of the Geomancy spells he casts have triple, triple strength. Oh my good lord. What have we done? Everything just broke at once. Technical difficulties. I clicked on something and everything decided to go and then die immediately. I think that's because the page wanted to reload it. I told it no. Oh my god, everything was glitched. Okay, there we go. I think that was because Dark Mode decided it didn't like the fact that I did that. Okay, so... Geo Amplify. MP. Remove that. Yeah, oh my god, everything broke. Okay. Please bear with me as I have to refresh literally every single page. Fucking hell. He's then gonna follow that up with the va second action, Valfurnian Blessing. So he now has plus 20 to all of it, to his uh, strength, to his strength, wisdom, and charisma for the duration. And can manually select which of his, um, which of his Geomancy terrains he's gonna use. And is then going to follow this up with casting Geomantic Manipulation as action numero three. However, uh, he's, go he's going to uh, make use of Valfurnian Blessing to basically pick, which al it allows him to pick which of the Geomancy ability effects or results it comes out with. And so he decides to select Greater Hell Ivy, which Alice immediately proceeds to suck into her weapon. Yay. So Alice, should you choose to trigger the spell at any point, the spell infusion you now have because this is also oh shit right yeah because if I'm right it captures the spell and. Up with all the modifiers and stuff, doesn't it? Yep. It does. Okay, so what I've just put I'm going to put it in the chat for you so you can make a little note of it at, uh, when you want to trigger it off, but I assume I have to wait until my turn to trigger it off. Yes. You have to wait until your next turn to progress. Yeah, that's fine. All right, I've just popped that in so you can basically just slap the damage number on the end. Um, so that's three actions. Action four. Action 4 is going to use Home Field Advantage. Oh wait, it's a bonus action. So anybody that is within the big mega fuck you sized use up bubble that is dark in color uh, is now treated as forest terrain. This only really help is only really helpful for Luna. But the Ley Lines and Favored Terrain abilities are now in effect, as the terrain become is now treated as Forest. He's then going to move up. Going to use... Another bonus action. Fuck it, we're gonna spend great with him right now. Wait, no. Reactions to from one to uh is going to use yeah, use another bonus action to apply geomantic infusion to himself. 
so he will now add the damage and additional effects of his Geomancy ability to his melee attacks. Let's see how many things that I've just used there for the first time, because I didn't need to use them before. But look, but DM is very concerned that he may have just bitten off more than he can metaphorically chew. Um, so that's four actions. Fifth action. Fuck. 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 <laughs> uh, fifth action is going to dual cast Protect 5 and Shell 5 on Xanus. And now, to do something really stupid that may or may not backfire. As Yuzok is going to cast Geo Acumen. We're going to use... We're going to dip into the last ones now. He's going to dual cast Geo Acumen and Geo Fury on Penton. Okay. The two... So, so what, uh, so you'll now have plus 84 to physical damage and magical damage. And it's also magical healing. Yuzok is then going to follow that up by doing the same thing, but applying the Geo Fury to Luna and the Geo Acumen to fucking K. How much is the Geo Fury? Uh, plus 84 to all physical damage. And that will apply to anybody that's within 20 feet of you as well, as you are the anchor point for this. That's two actions, so I've got three. I've got three left to do with this. Okay, sexy. My brain is working overtime trying to figure out the best fucking application of all of this. You know what? I'm feeling really stupid. Let's do this. Yuzok is then going to do the same thing. And apply both Geo Acumen and Geo Fury to himself. Oh, so that's third, a third action of Great Griffin, so I've got two left. Ooh, I have two left. Okay. Optimize this well. Oh, this is such a stupid idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yuzok is going to pass. Is going to do use a dual pass of Geo Charisma on Penton. So yeah. for the next 28 rounds, you have plus 18 to your charisma. And anybody that is within within 20 feet of you will also get this, but. Then going to cast Geo Strength on himself as the second half of that. Sorry, Geo Strength. Geo, sorry, Geo Wisdom on on K. Sorry, I'm reading too far ahead of my notes. Wisdom modifier at 18. Is then going to follow that up by using last action to dual cast Geo Dex and Geo Strength on Luna. So it's plus 18 to Strength and Dex. If I've lost you there at any point, I will pop, pop things in in a moment. So if you if you need an update on whatever whatever buffs you have, 
Uh, just ask me and I'll just bitch slap them down for chat for you. Right, so that's another... Can you just bitch slap them down I mean, I'm, anyway? I'm, I'm good at the moment. I'm, I'm now just having to rethink what I'm doing on my turn. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> my bad. Uh, Alice, I will slap down what I have noted as your buffs at the moment. Um, that's what I've got, but I need to update that for... Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's what that's what I had written down as well, woo! And then also the, the thing above it is what you caught as your spell infusion. Oh, spell magnet, sorry, because that's what you currently have stored in your sword. Uh, and that is the end of yeah. Yuzok's turn. Okay, um, so, uh, Penton and Luna, are either of you two ready with your turns, or do you need a moment longer? Is Aurelis already taking their turn? Aurelis has not taken his turn yet, no. I'd like to wait till Aurelis has taken their turn. Okay. If they're going to buff themselves up in any way, then I want to capture that version rather than okay the other version. Xanit? Okay, then I'll... I guess I'll call Dennis in because he's next in order. Because I think, yeah, because we need to, they just need to figure out what to do with their time again. Because I adapt. I adapt too hard. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but it's like a fucking moron. Okay, um, Zanis is going to make a call out through the um, through the telepathy that he is going to attempt, maybe not succeed, but he is going to attempt to imperil and slow this thing. So what he does. Uh, first action. Wait, did I did I impair? Did I give him great cooking? No, I didn't. Okay, thank fuck. Uh, Holy shit! Hmm? Once I apply what I'm going to apply, I'm going to have a hundred and thirty crisp start. Jesus fucking Christ! Because <laughs> applying the eighteen first and then applying the aura means I apply the increased aura and then I lucky scrape it. Oh, what I'm about to do is not authorized by the Geneva Convention. <laughs> uh oh. Xanus is going to use his first action, second action, and third action to dual cast Mass Dwarf's Endurance, Mass Elvish, Elvish Splendor, Mass Galka's Strength, Mass Gnome's Cunning, Mass Mithra's Grace, and Mass Moogle's Wisdom. I don't like a lot. So basically, every single member of the party right now has plus six to every single one of their stats. <laughs> this is not author- like I said, this is not authorized by the Geneva Convention. <laughs> Now before I lucky straight, my uh, temp modifier is 69. <laughs> nice. The fact that I'm doing this should probably give people cause for concern because this means that I definitely have thought I've bitten off more than I could chew. I am mildly right, concerned. Though, if you ever compensate the other way, it makes an easy fight. Flattering. Um, so it's 36 percent is in P1. Uh, it's then going to follow this up. Oh, right. <laughs> So that was a really good timing to look back at the chat. Right, yeah, I forget. Because you've kept... Yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go, there you go. Sorted. Um... I need to add that to my notes that... I'm just gonna put... Because I, I can't be asked to write out individually each time. I'm just gonna put the... I'm just gonna put mass stat. Wait, no, I can't- Alec does not have math, the mass stat increase because of fucking... Because... Timeless body. <laughs> well, 
Sorry, Alec. <laughs> Rip. Um. Oh, I thought I was being really big brain for a minute there. No, no, I was not. Uh. Xanis is then going to use his next two actions to cast Imperilga and Sloga on the on the beast. Okay, you got this. Oh boy. Uh, one D. Need to roll a one D six. That's a six. Okay. Okay, Houston, we're in business. That's a six. But what's the save? I have to roll out the elements first. That's a two. That's a three. Hold up, hold up, later. hold up. Okay, no, never mind. I doubled up on numbers. That's a four. Man, that's a five. I, if I hadn't rolled two twos, man. Okay, so that's fire. So that's fire, ice twice, wind, earth, and lightning. So everything that is not water. Uh, so I'm gonna make it save now. And it rolls... Bear in mind this is a wisdom save. It rolls a 51. What? It appears that this thing is hilariously vulnerable to certain ailments. As it fails the save against Imperil. Fabulous. It is already weak to fire. It is already weak to wind. It now has lost its immunity to ice. Mm hmm. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to double check things. Fire. Man, it has an immunity to ice, didn't I? Know. Uh, it's already weak to wind. <laughs> um. It is no it is no longer immune to earth. Uh, and it no longer halves lightning. Throwing that bitch out. Hmm? Throwing that bitch out. And as Xanis as Xanis goes to use his last action, cast Sloga on it, it triggers up its legendary resistance, uh -oh. automatically succeeding the save. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Meaning it is now Luna's turn. Yeah, right. So I've I've planned out basically everything except for one action. <laughs> but so my first that thing I have. Right yeah. Okay. So, um, first, uh, can uh, so aspects of the stag and aspects uh, of the wolf, they're both enhancing polymorphs. Can I cast both of them on myself at the same time? Or uh, let me double check. let me check. So it's aspect of the stag and aspect and of the aspect wolf. And aspect of the yes. wolf. Yep. Um, they are treated as two different spell families. So yes. Thank goodness so i cast those two then i cast case of a uh, case jesus cape of wasps cape of wasps yeah i'm now That's surrounded i am surrounded by a swarm of wasps don't worry Why about it with you <laughs> then i cast ward of the season spring <laughs> okay if oh if only uh, I'm, I'm still affected by bleed, aren't I? You are. You will continue to be affected by it until either the effect is removed, or until the duration runs out. How can I remove it? It doesn't have to be a spell. Cause... It can oh. either be a, spe a specialised type of spell, a medicine check, which will take a full action to do, 
or a uh, high a high high enough strength healing spell. Unfortunately, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let drop the hot bombshell on you. The I'm, I'm not K's K yeah K's mass full cure was not strong enough. However, the actual medicine check I don't know what what's your bonus to medicine. But yeah, it is possible for you to uh, right yourself up if you so okay. choose. Okay. I will do that. I'll just supply the aspects with the wolf because I gain four strength and dex. I'm going to boost that up to 28. <coughs> four strength and dex. Okay. So. For that fifth, I'm going to attempt to make that medicine check to stop the bleed. Okay. Please roll. So 45. 45. Yep, that's a success. Fuck yeah, I don't have to worry about that now. Yippee! You are no longer bleeding. Hallelujah! Um. Yes. So. And then for my next... So I use a bonus action to aim. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it to... Uh, I've currently got the Lunarium arrows equipped. I want... You want I should probably mind. check... Yeah. Is that a bonus action or action? Um, I'd say it's a bonus action. Luckily for me, I have a second bonus action. Great, a fucking coming in clutch. <laughs> so I get to use my next five actions to attack. My dex right now has a temp stat boost of 28. <laughs> right. 148 is my current hit bonus. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, uh, mm -hmm. is it an animal, dragon, or humanoid? Uh, it is. Is it one of them? It is none of them. Okay, thank good. Thank goodness. I don't need to add more stuff on. Whew. Right. Um, uh, what's got plus two from haste run? Right, does a... Jesus Christ, that was nearly a... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's like a hot wire right there, uh, Jesus Christ! Uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to get hit by me at the moment. Yeah, no, definitely um, not. So it's not a crit, but does 152 hit? 152 does in fact hit. Um, right. But luckily for me, I double my damage modifiers. Uh, 113 is now 256. Um, plus 84, so that's 168. Uh, was there anything else before I forget? I don't think so. Smiley face. That's 403 piercing. Are you using the correct dice there, madame? I am not. I'm fucking not. <laughs> I'm fucking not. Not even close, right? All right. I'm tired. Hold it's, on. That is perfectly fine. Give not me even. Two... Not even remotely close to the right fucking dice. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> Give me two seconds. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go and uh, grab some water. I'll be right back. Fucking. <laughs> oh uh, yes. One d twenty compared to the eleven d ten. Hmm. Right, so that's actually 452 PC. <laughs> oh dear.
He'll be back in a moment. Yeah. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Carry on. I'm back, carry on. Right, so it's actually 452 piercing damage. 452, okay. Um, uh, so is it how immune much, how to much... melt down? Can I ask how much or... um, damage resistance piercing you have before we move along? Uh, no. No, okay, so... Rather than for fifty-two, you actually deal three ninety-seven. Okay, not too bad. Just three nine seven divided by two. Oh shit, that is not right. Uh, that's one hundred and ninety-eight point five. Is it immune to meltdown, or what's my other thing that? Uh, uh, confuse. It is. It is. It is not immune to either. It will, right. however, it will, however, be expending another legendary resistance used to automatically succeed the confused save. Right, so the 198.5 for the meltdown. 199. Wisdom save. 199 was save. Um, it rolled 109, which is a fail. Hey, it's been inflicted with meltdown. I'm now going to proceed to shoot it again another four times. Do it. If my keyboard will let me this up, please. Don't make me type it out, bitch. You know, I'm there sexy. Oh. So that is a crit. Yep. 156 to hit. I'm going to wrap this in a times four. Uh, that is 1,852 piercing. So you do 1,797 damage total? Okay, and then I shoot. It's 161. That so 1,812. So 1,757. I should probably mention that for each of these, it's it's expending an additional use to auto succeed the confuse save. All right. Um, which one was? Which hit was that? One. So one. while I'm at it, I'm gonna make. It. Um. Oh, yes. So for my fourth one, I don't crit. I okay. literally just miss it. So that's 434. 434, so... 379. If, and it, wasn't, then for if my... it wasn't obvious at this point, it has uh, 55 points of uh, resistance against yeah. piercing. And then for my final... Oh. Oh no. Such prime targets in front of me. I rolled a net one. Uh, high or low? Hi. You do not. You fire. You fire off the arrow. Your bow. Your bowstring twangs a little bit as your hands are trembling a little bit with fear from this thing's just general size and a general size and terrifying appearance. And as your arrow flies off from your from your bow, from your bow string, you end up raising your hand a little bit, and it plinks off pathetically into the distance. Oh, thank God! <laughs> Narrowly <laughs> avoiding Kay's ears as it does so, but you have to miss. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, uh, I don't I don't know about you, but last I checked, no one has a uh, AC above one hundred fifty one. Uh, that is exactly Lapizia's DC, uh, a fucking <laughs> AC with her shield active. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she doesn't have it active at the moment, though. No. Right. Yeah. Right, so, uh, yeah, that's my turn. Okay, 
So next person to act then will be Arolus. Uh, Penton, are you going to announce what you want to do to... Yes, actually, should I go first? Because I need to make the duplicate first. Um, or what are you... The toy, it would, it would twin cast with Arolus. Uh, then you, he will hold an action for that. Okay, then let him go. Go, go for it. Uh, would you mind turning a light on? Just it's getting a little, sure. little, uh, little dark in here now. So, Four bright screens at once. How would you like to be there to be like another one of you? Don't let Alec hear this. <laughs> Don't let Alec hear this. Two Arolas in one place. <laughs> um, Arolas looks a little baffled, but... Raises an eyebrow at your suggestion. I can't twin cast you with, with you, but you can. And it's almost like a light bulb goes off in his head. Um, oh fuck, wait, he has great equipment as well. Oh, oh. Have fun. This is gonna be painful. Okay. Right. I'm about to suffer, aren't I? Okay, how many actions do you have? Do you have twin casting? Or twin casting, dual casting? Please tell me the answer is no. The answer is, in fact, no. We're good. We're we Gucci. <laughs> so, two, four, okay, eight spells. Alright, we can do this. Seven, so, seven. Okay, so Aurelius' first action, he is going to cast Expansive Infusion upon himself, meaning that whenever he casts buffs, when it, whenever he casts buffs that are single target, enhancing or enfeebling spells, he can basically apply that to multiple targets, but it consumes additional MP to do so. Um, he is then going to follow this up by casting... Hmm. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to decide on who to do this on. Bear with. Who is capable of fucking shit up the most right now? Does anybody feel like a limit, having a limit break? What is the limit break again? Uh, sure. You have limit- your limit breaks are unique to each of you. Oh, you mean, um, yes. aura break. Okay, Yes. So you must, like having one put on them. Um, fuck it. We're gonna cast Amethyst- we're gonna cast Amethyst Emboldenment on Alice. So you now have plus 98 to your physical- You know what, I'll just copy this over. Please. <laughs> so that's that mean just correct so it's got the right numbers on it. So that's what you currently have. So it's plus 98 to physical damage, physical damage, magical damage, and magical healing. You have the effects of moment of Mog and Runic Amp, and you are able to use your limit breaks whilst above 20% HP. Yo, I love this. For how long? Um. Well, following up this, Aurelius is going to cast Mog, using and apply his innate spell ability. It's a free action, so it costs him zero MP. So now all of the party's buffs are permanent. Woo! So your answer is Let's go! yes. <laughs> it will last until you are either dead or the encounter ends. He so love it! Expansion fusion mug. Amethyst emboldenment, so. Oh boy, right. Where do I go from here? Four actions. Technically three.
I'm having a big brain moment. Big brain? Yeah. How big, how big the brain? You couldn't comprehend the bigness of the brain. Oh, that's a big brain. <laughs> Does it hurt having a brain that big? Hmm? Does it hurt having a brain that big? Um, insert, that's what she said joke here. <laughs> Do I do this or do I not? Can't believe I'm having to debate this with myself, but. Okay, Aurelius is going to use his next action to Shadow Bard. And is going to have it using. Uh, in... And it's going to start using uh, Inspire Greatness. Targeting himself. Targeting himself, targeting uh, Kay, Enton, and Alec when he eventually unveils. Uh, what does that do? There's plus 10 to hit, plus 8 to damage and con saves, and you recover 2d10 HP or MP back on your turn, which you choose at the start of each round. out now because the number's pretty big. That's unfortunate. Mm. I'm having ideas, but they're all really bad ones. likely to have their shit kicked in in the most pathetic way possible. Uh, okay, we're, 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 we're gonna do this. This is a terrible idea. But Aurelis is going to cast Bubble and is going to trigger the effects of Expansive Infusion. So everybody within the party now has Bubble. Please. Except Alec, because he is still timeless bodied. Fucking. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and I will, up I will update the health totals in a minute, because I have to double everything. So that's. Two. Grudge noises, grudge noises. So I'm going to follow this up with D shell, uh, D shell of four, and because the things saves. Uh, thing, roll the roll the net one on its save anyway. So um, it now has minus eight to spell saves. And then it's going to whole. Uh, it's going to drink the his last turbo ether.
and then it's going to hold a singular action. Meaning it is now Kenton's turn. Okay, so first thing Kenton's going to do, because it's got fucking thingy. It's got thingy. Uh, throw it quicken. And it takes a round to do it, so if we use the first round that he has to activate Capital Blitz. Okay. It's a round action. Please bear with me a moment. I will be um, updating HP and HP totals. It's going to use the bonus action to activate Lucky Streak. Sorry. Wait, no. Which one's going to get me more at this point? No, okay. We got to... This works better. So first bonus action will be Lucky Streak, then also, uh, I don't have much of a plan this turn, but we use one of my actions to use the, uh, Phantasma Swan Song to make another Aurelis. Okay, you will need to move over to Aurelis when we do this. Okay. Also, you will have to bear with me just a moment. So we'll be very distracted since I am I am bubbling everybody up, so I'm basically doubling everybody's HP pool that is not happening. So bad. Um, timeless body. Timeless body <laughs> Timeless Body gives and timeless body takes. Dang, that's a large boy. That is a large boy. You are correct in this statement. I don't know if I don't put that much damage to it yet. You've hit it a fair few times. But I, my previous statement still stays. No, no. I'm very much aware. I'm just saying you have definitely hit it. I've definitely put the damage numbers down. updating everybody's uh, tokens. Fortunately, this is something I have to do manually. Ooh, that's funny. Not mind if I can. Okay, you now have my full undiv undivided attention once more. Okay, so I've made the arrow stick with it. Secondary Aurelis, give me a moment. There are now two Aurelises. I'm gonna mark one of them with the green dots, you know, it's the phantom one. Hmm. So many options. So many options. So many options. No. Okay, let's try this. Because this is not my affecting. Okay. I've already made the. Uh, already made the relative pit, so I'm free to move. Mm hmm. Temporarily move up. Yep. We'll cast the level 8 spell, Greater Bestow Curse. 
Uh, what's the save it needs to make? Uh, so it's already had a minus to its AC, so check, so um, cloak casting is in effect. Mm -hmm. Making a 150 wisdom save. Um, I'm not even going to bother rolling that. So I am going to be it, which is a 25% chance to act on its turn. Sorry, 25% do not get. It's curse, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it is vulnerable to that. I had a horrible feeling. So each, each turn, target has 25% chance to act normally, else they take no action. Yet? Have we got the auto raise up yet? Uh, hey, it has auto raise. Okay. That's it. What is that? Am I the last person in this order? Aside from the one held action that Aurelis and Duplicate Aurelis have, yes, you are. Oh, can okay. I choose the duplicate actions now? Uh, it has a singular action remaining, like it's like its initial counterpart. Oh, that's interesting. Fun. Um, sure. Fuck it. Um, element of Friday. Or um, It has a singular a singular action. Weren't you holding that Me. or something? Me, I'm still. Oh, your. Okay, sorry. Brain got a lot confused for a second there. Ah, my knee. How many actions do I have? Five, apparently. Uh, yes, five plus the Greater Quicken, so double it. Mm, don't want to slow grace just yet. Yeah, so element in front of the Mimio yeah, Con save. Um, non magical, right? Yeah. Or without the spell save bonus that it doesn't have. Uh, that is a 117. Wait, is it versus a spell? It's versus a song. It's versus, ma versus magic, so fucking... Good 117, so it's actually 109 because of D-Shell 4 that's got on it. That's a fail. I will have to do the which should I give it more weakness to? Uh, that'll be a general question to the party then, I cannot answer that one for you. Uh-huh. That's what I'm doing. Which element are you guys going to hit it with? Hello? You can pipe in. Uh, fire, I guess. Yeah, sure. 15 points of weakness. Uh, vulnerability to fire. Okay, so it's now 15, so 15 vulnerability to fire. Mm-hmm. And uh, what is that? Wait, Luna, you crit this thing, didn't you? So that's your wrapping critical, isn't it? Yeah, fucking. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, racking. Oh shit, where the fuck is my sheet? So it's got no resistance yeah. numbers at the moment. Yeah, sure, fuck it. Fuck. Yeah, they lost all damage reduction. Okay, so it, it has no uh, resistance numbers. Nice. And I'll run for Destiny. Run for Destiny? Yes. Okay, what does that do? Uh, boost of save, or like, minus two for skill. And minus 24 for skill checks whilst you get saving throws. So yeah, I'm going to put that for you. Okay, well, it can't beat that, so. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Uh. Yeah, the second turn will be used for Factor Blitz. Okay. In that case, then, the la the 
last held action that Aurelius and, and his duplicate have. It's not for me and his dirt, but they are going to come together. I'm imagining Alec is like, oh my god, there are two Aurelises? What the fuck? Sandwich can outside if they do it. No. Get the mana no clue. He's already probably losing enough blood from being attacked. Um Wait, does Thomas' body last until to the end of the past time? Ooh, okay, that's gonna be interesting. Self. Um so as the two come together, they twin cast Opalian Decay. Which is a DC 210 wisdom save that it cannot make. So for the next 19 minutes, it has minus minus an, an additional minus 10 to AC. Minus 10 to spell saves. Minus 49 to all of its physical damage, magical damage, magical healing. An additional layer of imperil to all elements and armor shatter, meaning it is now weak to physical damage. Now that's something I like to hear. Is it no longer a dog Never get it out of the You might be thinking of the wrong thing, sir. You have not tested the shadow element as of yet. Oh, okay, I'm going to take a long time. More than likely. So it is now neutral to ice, it is now weak to lightning. Um, because it's got in peril to have in peril. It is now neutral to Earth. So basically this thing just picked up another weakness, and it's now weak to physical damage as well. And that is the end of the round. We go to round two. And... There's a 99. So yeah, it does act. It does in fact act. And it is slightly angry. It's slightly... It's slightly angry? Just a little bit. At who? Um, a few fair few people. Just across the board. Just general malice. Oh wait. As it proceeds to as it proceeds to eclipse bite. Who? Uh Alice, there's 157 hit. Bloody hell. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, unless by some miracle I got another hundred uh, AC. Uh, you take 1,032 points of piercing damage. Wait, then maybe my AC is good. Your AC has not increased. I, I'm looking at the buffs. It's gone oh, by two. Oh, I, I had a, I had a sense of hope. Don't worry. Your AC has gone up by like two. You had a sense of false hope. <laughs> it has gone up by like 20, but unfortunately that is not 100. Yeah. Um. So 1,032 points of piercing damage. I thought. Wait, can you read 1032? Uh, apply your resistances as in, as necessary. Yeah. Uh, second action it is going to continue to eclipse bite. And the next person in the firing line is Xanus. Who gets hit? Taking a grand total of one thousand and eleven damage, but I'm going to add forty back because resistances. I can't because I'm currently holding onto a number. Uh, it's then going to continue on with its assault. 
Okay then. Bless um, you. Certainly not blessed. As it goes du for the Arolas duplicate and lands a crit. Uh, the the duplicate. <laughs> doing 3,069 points of damage. Unfortunately, the duplicate didn't have bubble. The duplicate did have bubble. Did it? Yep, because everybody has bubble. It came about after bubble was... And it somehow... Yeah, it, no, it came about before bubble. Before bubble, Bro. after bubble. Blah, blah, blah. Duplicate Aurelis is tanky. Aurelis is tanky. I hope you know that without without that bubble effect, um, that would have definitely one tapped. Um, would have meant I have to make another one. Oh no! How unfortunate. No, oh, it's just effort. Things I do to save all your lives. So it proceeds to move around. Do you find what? It proceeds to move. Oh, I should have used deceleration. I had another turn of life from using. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Uh -oh. Use your mugs, people. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, we have mug. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, that's activated it. I may have missed that. That's okay. As it proceeds to use its breath weapon. Ooh, it's a breath weapon. So as it moves, it, lo it raises its jaw into the air. And you watch this magical energy gather before it slams its jaw down into the ground and this blast of eldritch energy fucking rips through everything. So the people that are spared from making this save are Arolus, who just happens to be conveniently out of the way. This is... I need to make note, this is action. Ben this ben. is action two. No, Alec, you're, you're getting hit by this. Uh, Alec is not getting hit by this because Timeless he's not. Body, timeless body does not wear. Oh yeah. Until the end Fuck of what does Timeless body do? Is it just make you invincible? Uh, it makes you invulnerable to both positive and negative effects until the start of your next turn. <laughs> but you cannot take acts. Oh, Pen Penton is conveniently out of the way of this as well. Yeah, he's actually. <laughs> like, I, it's because I was zoomed out a bit. And right now, I'm probably one of the only people that can probably save this, save the save that's coming. So. Penton, Nolan, Aurelius, and Alec. Can everybody please make me a dexterity saving throw? Magical? No. Actually, no. no. Yes. It doesn't oh, happen. Yes. yes. Sorry. Yes. Correction. Whoa! Yes. This okay. Would be magical. Um. Um. I remember I had a bit of a moment. Using... I shall be using Mog. Oh, wait. This is, act this is its third action. Sorry. Uh. Okay. If it rolled a one, there, I was about, to, I was about to start crying. Okay. So. Save this is invulnerable right now. Uh, I don't suppose it was a blue mage spell. No. It was not. No. R.I.P. Uh, K succeeds. Zanis. What did Zanis' saves page? Oh, it's over there. What the fuck is it over there? You accidentally 
trying to do it probably. Probably. I I do that constantly. Oh, Zanis, no. Um. Oh wait. Okay, no, that's a that's a rip to Zana to Zanis. Uh, a Rolos duplicate. Oh, it rolled a nat one. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna have to make another one, aren't I? More than likely. Well, I wasn't really expecting it to live after this. Even if it succeeded. That's fine. Uh, okay. It doesn't cost me anything to make another one. So. Alice, what did you roll? It does cost you Penton. It costs you 90 MP8 each time. Okay, well, I can roll that. Yeah. Okay, Alice, what did you roll? 154. Okay. And Luna. 242. Okay. So... If you have evasion... No, you don't. Um... So, no. for those of you that fail, uh, the Aurora's Duplicate is... dead. Yay, I mean, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I don't know why um, I said yeah, I actually genuinely meant to say no, that's why I went, I mean, no! <laughs> um, and for those of you that succeeded, being basically everybody that wasn't used up and Zanis, uh, uh, so... Letizia, Kay, Alice, and Luna, you take 228 non-elemental damage. That is 228. Yes. Would that be considered, uh, magical damage? Oh no! I know this is very strange because um, because of the thing that uh, I was given where it says it increases the amount of damage you deal, not reducing how much you take. Oh, how much I deal? Okay. Yeah. I'm being dumb. Sorry. Sorry. You literally have like. It's not fine. You are dumb. You have you have zero you have zero intelligence, the dungeon master. So don't worry, like at all. Uh, final action. I'm just trying to take less damage than everyone else, what I'm is, saying. <laughs> that is understandable. Um, but you think you're better than us? Oh. Yeah, I do. You're fine. Oh, yeah. Why'd you say, oh no? Yeah. Why'd you say, oh no? Huh? Why'd you say, oh no? That's a start. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> what did you do? Um, so it then uses its final action to land another eclipse bite. On. Wow. On K. Oh, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Please, please. Oh my god. No. Wait. No. Hold up. Hold up. Um. Fucking. Come on. Something that has to be. Kate got that ability where she doesn't actually die when she dies, and that. Because. Water rays. Things do seem to try and kill her a lot. And succeed. Um. Hmm. Oh, no. You crit, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> no! Something tells me Kay died. <laughs> wait, wait, no, because she has aspect of the bear active, so it's half physical damage. And then, and then I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Wait, that half physical. 
That's from uh, that's from her uh, Guardian Aspect Achievement. So she's got that. But that applies before resistance numbers. Oh, um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> holy shit! That saved her ass like nothing, and she ends up taking. She would have taken 3,249 piercing damage. Mm -hmm. However, thanks to her attuning to the aspect of the bear, she only takes 1,613. So she is only on a casual 519 health, which is, um, <laughs> um, she didn't level up to kill her instantaneously. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And that is the end of it. That is the end of, uh, It's, turn. it's the end of its turn. Um, oh. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Oh, right. We're gonna go straight to. Um... Huh. Sorry, I've. Brain cells from them. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna get. We're, we're gonna go. We're gonna go straight to uh, Alice. Because I've got no idea what I'm doing with the other. Jump scare. So Alice, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna jump straight to you. Alice is gonna release the. <laughs> Magic oh, in her weapon. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is that funny? Because Alice is gonna release no one. Ah! Leave us. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leave I us. had to. It was funny. It's, it's funnier at my head than it is out loud, but please go ahead. <laughs> okay, do I have to whack it? Yes, okay, let me move a bit closer. Then. This is the latest monster I've ever seen. Sorry, I realized it, it breaks the meltdown formula. What do you mean it breaks it? I'll explain after this thing is dead because it's related to its stats. After it's dead? Yeah. You don't kill it. Okay? It's still alive. For a second there, I thought I'd missed something and it Fuck was like no. on half health. Fuck no. No. You will be so lucky. If I'm. God damn. Okay, let me flounder my weapon in its general direction. Do I need to? Let me. I rolled a hit right. I can. Um, give me two seconds, just because I've I've thought of something, but I'm gonna I'm gonna whip I'm gonna metaphorically whip out before you go for this. You can metaphorically whip out before Alex. Alex releases. Yes. What shut, are you whipping out before I release? Fucking mouth. I just realized what you fucking went for. No. <laughs> uh, Yuzok is gonna hop in really quickly to use Warcry. <laughs> oh my god, you are such a child. I thought it said no. I thought it said Warcry. Okay, that's. <laughs> Marginally better than Why to commit various unforgettable war crimes. Uh, okay, so everybody now has a plus... A plus 28 to hit AC and saving throws. Oh, thank god. Okay, now continue. Thank you, thank you. That was plus 20 or plus 28? 28. 28. 28. Epic. Uh, can you write it so I can do a copy paste? Certainly. I'm literally just gonna. There you go. Thanks. Okay, please continue. We'll make sure that attacks were connecting. Now I'm going to bonk it on the head with my big boy bonky stick and release. Huh? My, uh, 
Are you doing this uh, via spell infusion by any chance? Is this by? I need to. I have yeah. to ask this. Are you right? doing this via spell? Inf are you doing this via spell infusion? Yes. How did I do it last time? I think I did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. That one. Yeah. Uh. B -b 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 so it's a ninth level spell. So four point five. So five. So. Uh. Okay, so you spend those uses. You've had a long rest since that. Yeah, you popped up. And so for the next, uh, let me just double check. So for the next, for the next four rounds, every single melee attack you make with the Azure Ravens Soul Breaker will add on the uh, uh, the damage from geomantic manipulation yes yeah that's what i wanted thank you right time to do some wacky bonky stick thing so i'll put the i'll put it in the thing for you so you can so that's what you want to add on the end of your usual little formulas. Come on. Uh... General word for the party? Fuck it up. End it. Okay, I think <laughs> does 97 hit? 97 does hit. Oh my, oh my god, I got a bonky with a bonky stick! Okay, right, now, Lord help me. This is where it gets hard. Uh, um. Wait, so that little formula that, the little, the little, the little that you put in the chat, that's just for the... Um... Geomantic manipulation bonus, yes. Yeah. Do you want me yeah. to write okay, it out for okay. you in full? Would that help you? Yeah, can you? Because I'm frazzled. Well, yeah, okay, that's good, yes. Are you are you putting two hand? are you two-handing the sword? Yes. Okay, so... No one needs a shield. Fuck shields. I mean, you don't have a shield, so... Exactly. I might as well put two, my two little thingies on this. I don't know why that sounded like a euphemism. I don't know, but this entire turn so far it sounded like a euphemism. My entire- this entire round has been, uh, suspect. Uh, Alice is not a I, I nearly movie. said, why would it- why would things get hard after release? But, you know. <laughs> no. Yeah, it would only happen before, surely. Cease. Yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> what's your uh, make your first? Your, you've made your roll to hit, so I I rolled to hit, please. yeah, because I'm much cool. Did you say because you're much cool? It, so, I am much cool. If you want to just copy paste that. Okay, in. and and I don't need to times it by two, do I? Uh, you no, because I didn't. No, 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 I don't. I don't. And I don't times it by four because I'm not at full you health. Not Amazing. Health. Epic. Like, wow. Oh, thank you so much. One thousand nine hundred and sixty-eight. Um, oh fuck! Right, it has a par it has a parley and decay on it as well, so it damages. Uh, so the first part of that's doubled. So we double. So I'm gonna double the whole thing. Can't be asked. And I can heal for that whole damage, right? Uh, so you restore three thousand nine hundred and thirty-six HP. And Let's then go! 1, 000, She's at full health! Then 1968 MP. 
to basically full heal on both sides of the of the spectrum. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do? Oh, I do, love myself. Uh, I'm gonna get you to roll the net to do the next part in two sections. So because your physical damage is multiplied because it's hitting a weakness, but your physical is not. And you are also now at full health, so... Uh, make me an next roll to hit, please, if you're doing another attack. Yeah, I just accidentally gave myself a 1,500 MP. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops! I put it in the wrong box! <laughs> you need to worry about it. So choosing not to ignore Okay, for some reason this is, it's like incredibly difficult. Okay, let me just you want me to oh, roll to hit again? Why, I see why, because um because you're inside the the uh, the Mauler's uh, token space. That's why it's not selecting it. You were pretty oh. numbed. Okay, that's fine, that's <laughs> Whoops. Fine. I got so close I was actually inside his Yeah, you his were in fangs. the token space. It's it's because it's because the to I've drawn the to the token as a circle. But when you get the bigger tokens, it fills more space than you can see. Like, if I ping, this is the, yeah. this is the bottom corner of the space it fills. That's where they're. Oh. So it's got like a big Whoops. overlap. So I might have to make them bigger monster tokens squares in future. That's fine. Well, just pretend that I'm actually, actually next to it and not like 20 feet away. Because <laughs> of giant, giant circle. Got a little thing in the bottom for you, so if you, so when you want to, when you roll your damage, you got it. Right. So, what's the next roll to hit? Hundred and six. Hundred and six. That hits. Is that a crit? Yee. It is. No, it's not. No. Really? No, 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 no. Oh right, yeah, because there aren't any. Wait, unless. I don't think I crit. I, I I don't think I crit lower than fifteen, right? Uh, you do not. No. Yeah. So no, that's not a crit. Ah, balls. Okay. So I'll put your little damage things down in the bottom of the chat for you. Wait, one hundred and twelve deeds. Huh? I've set I've separated out the uh, the physical damage and the non elemental because part of that I have to double, part of that I don't. Do you want me to roll them separately? Yes. Because I have to the top the top one of those two I have to double because you're hitting a weakness. But I have to double all of them because I'm at full health. I've applied the modifier increases for you already. Don't okay, that's already an epic. So that does 1,302. Fuck me. The second part does 1,932. You know okay, got down. You, know, you know what would have been really smart if I if I got. Oh, I have a really stupid idea. Alice, you're on second action, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do something really fucking dumb. But, like, you're gonna love it. Uh, Zorolus. Zorolus is going to very quickly interject, move up to there, and is going to use his bonus action to activate accurate strikes to increase crit range, so... Please continue with your turn. Just be aware that every time you now roll to hit, you will now be critting on an 11 or above. Oh my gosh, so I could have crit on that one. Damn if it. I, okay. If I thought I'll about it beforehand, if I thought about it beforehand, this would have been far more... Far more vicious.
That's a nat 20! Ooh! Oh dear, that's gonna be terrifying. Sorry, I had little distraction. But yes, nat 20 plus... Uh... Hundred and fifteen. Hundred and fifteen. That hits. Hits and crits, baby. Hell yeah. Oh my god, that's terrifying. That means that and Alice is on full, so I'll roll the same things. I'll just multiply them by two. Yep. The fun thing is the physical damage gets doubled again because it's gonna hit a weakness. Oh boy. I'm mildly concerned by what's about to come out. Uh oh. So that's uh, double it. So that the you do two thousand six hundred and forty-eight points of slashing damage, and fucking hell, three thousand seven hundred and thirty. Three thousand seven hundred and thirty-two. Non-elemental damage. Good lord. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> fucking hell. Uh. So yeah. So that's three of six. I love this. People should give me more actions now. <laughs> I love that for you, Alice. Is that everything off his health bar, really? Yep. Oh, wow. wow, I've done a single square. Five feet of health. <laughs> five foot of health. I've done five foot of health off him. Right, let's see if we can do another five foot in the next three rounds. You said eleven and above crits, right? Yep. Okay, rolled an eleven. So, that hits. And crits. Woo! Okay. If, if when I rolled a two it hit, my eleven hits. Saves me having to add all the damn numbers. Mm Damage thing. <laughs> Fabric. <laughs> Okay, can you reduce the little damage bar thingy? Because I want to see the little green thing go down. Hee hee hee. Is that the, the next attack? Yeah, sorry, I completely fucking yeah. blipped. Um, That's okay. Also, that rolled 3636. That's really satisfying. So you do another. I six, know, isn't it? 6272 damage total. Yo! That was a third of a square! A third of a square. Oh, yeah. this next one doesn't crit. Boo. Okay, so 
plus. Okay, this will be a sixth of a square. So that's 3,285 damage total. Last one. I could be really stupid. We got a crit! Hell yeah! Let's go! And then... Do, 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 do. That is 6,388 damage total. Oh my lord. Okay. Wow, that took me a really long time. It's fine. Is that the end of your turn? Um, I might... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just sit here and chill. Unless... Um, no, I'll sit here. And five. Tee -hee. Okay. Uh, oh shit. <clears throat> Do any of the play- any of our lovely players want to, uh, jump in first before I deal with the shit show that is the, um, the other turns? Uh, no. Okay. Um, sure. Yeah, okay, Hendon, jump in. Uh, I've already lucky streaked, so I will use my aura. Um, a bit charisma. And then I will follow that up with the Stone Grace. Giving myself a 67 for all saves. Okay. And... Does anyone use their mod yet? Uh, no. Okay, then I won't do that. Uh, I'll also Ghost Bane Dirge. Okay. On K, so it'll be half of half, which will be 25% physical damage. Uh, question, is your... Have you got either of your auras up at the moment? Yeah, I've just put one out. Which one? Mervic Charisma. Mervic Charisma, how, how much the bonus? Sorry? Currently? Yes. 67. Okay. Oh boy. Can you buff me to the roof, sir? Mm. Yep. At, yes. your, at your own peril. Mm hmm. Why have I just buffed the hell out of someone so someone could just loop the butt? Possibly. Sweet. Uh, that was. No, I'm just underloading you. You can't stack that. Um. Enchanting Etu doesn't mean you use it yet, though. So I'll put that up. Plus 6 to Christmas stat for anyone within 30, range, 30 feet. Why not? Is that Enchanting Etu 3? Yeah. Okay. Giving me a charisma stat of 151 and a modifier of 70. Aurelis isn't too far behind you at the Which moment. I will then take advantage of by using Pro Requiem 3 on the thing. Okay. Dealing. 210 damage, non elemental damage. 210. Mm hmm. Okay. Then I will just start throwing coins. Okay. Actually, no. I want to slow it down first. What can I do here that's not going to backfire on me? Oh, it's a 
terrible. He's terrible in like the best way. See, I can't un unravel destiny more than once, can I? No, it would just take the strongest effect. Okay. Fair enough. Um, fuck okay, let's try innovation. Lost hit the target, on hit the target takes 1d4 temporary negative levels stack. Okay, roll to hit. Roll to my current to hit. Level 4, so that's 95. It's 112. Yeah, 112. 112. Okay, you managed to hit it. So I guess I roll D4. You, uh, no, you do not, as you find that it is immune to this Immune effect. to reduce levels? Yep. Yeah, you have to use like three actions? No, I didn't have to use two actions. Remember, I'll build off works. You've been so long. Oh yeah, I need to make another roll as well. I'll make another roll of this. Yes, sir. Um, <sighs> fucking hell. Okay, sorry. I, I am excited because I just realised something that's about to get, that's about to happen. I'm burning 100 MP at a time. It's fucking Christ. Okay, so you've moved up to a roll at this point. Um, yeah, I just moved to a point. And the secondary realist is going to appear. And I'll throw two thousand gil mm -hmm. into the into the air, which then disappear. Okay. Please make. I don't still have very quick, and that's already used up. It's it? already used up. Okay. And I've already some bonus actions like. Oh. So that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Um. So. <laughs> if, I, if I created a, a shiny golden god that's going to switch this thing in one move? Um, potentially. How emotionally attached the party to potentially getting flattened? Genuine question I have to ask. Well, if that's the case, then my last action will be Barrier of Terror. <laughs> because you made another Aurelus. Um, my barrier. question. I didn't have one action. Aurelus, Aurelus is going to call out through the um, telepathy phone. If anybody has any seemingly pointless but small but like enhancing spells they can throw on him, please do so. Pointless but small. Yes. Uh, like, I don't see, think I've got any actions left. If you barrier a terror, then you don't. I don't think I actually had enough barrier of terror, to be honest, I'm just joking. Oh, are you not doing that? Okay. Well, in that case... I think you still have point action, so I can't do that. Nah. Got nothing that hasn't already been applied. Ah, balls. Okay. Or it's, yeah, it's like, uh, aspect, aspect of the Wolf and Stag are self-spells, so I can't do that. Damn. Oh, uh, Xanus has nothing. Bonus is insane right now. Yuzok is going to dual cart, is going to use a single action. To cast Protect 3 and Shell 3. And he is then out of effect at that point. And he is going to do that twice on Aurelus and the duplicate. When it's the duplicate's turn, Aurelus is going to tell me what to do with it. Because it doesn't have a turn um, free will. Yeah, uh... 
<laughs> um, in case I'll just hand it over to you. So, I've created a problem. I'm starting to realize why the Green Mage Bloodline is one that I do not wish to personally fight. Um, I am very glad this is not going to become a problem later. So, Aurelus is going to jump in here, focusing himself, and is going to tell Penton through the telepathy phone to have it dual cast Shattering Emerald with him. Ooh, that sounds fun. How we do? Beforehand, though, he is going to use one of his minor aura. He's going to spend an action to use a minor aura of Motivate Charisma. Now, because the duplicate... Oh, no! Because the duplicate will do the exact same thing... Fucking hell! He will be adding... Uh, anybody within range, within 15 feet of a Rolus will gain 54 to their Charisma modifier. Wait. It's only 54? Yeah. All right. A Rolus is more built for con... Are they both doing that bit charisma, or is it just one of them? Uh, both of them, but it was not going to stack, so it's basically treated as an extended bubble. Oh, okay. 54 to charisma bonus, eh? How interesting. So, oh my god, Aurelus has 220 fucking armor, right, armor class right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so... I have both him... charisma. Both him and the duplicate are going to come together. Context. Um, at the same time. Um, they always come. Oh, God. And, um... Okay, um, two Aurelis is coming together is apparently enough to tear the universe in two. Um, oh my god. Three million damage. As they come taking together. All bets, folks, taking all bets. Taking all bets. And both parts, Catherine Emerald, spending 80 MP. Oh, sorry. 160 MP, because the two, the two spells put together. I might have to nerf this a little bit. Uh, um, I don't have words for what I just did. Um, And even with it rolling, even with the Abyssal Mauler rolling a nat 20 on its saving throw, it fails. Oh my god. And so you watch as the these enhancing magics surround this thing, form into like a, an emerald-like shape, and then shatter inwards like it's imploding. And the Abyssal Eldritch Mauler is dead. Whoa! As it takes 21 million... Holy shit! damage. Yeah, that needs nothing. And it just dies. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. What the actual fuck have I created? So I can explain. Gonna... I'm gonna put a cap on that. Um, I'm gonna have to cap that shit. And so it's dead. Just the, a, a tear in the fabric of the universe and appears and just absorbs it. It just swallows it straight up, like a but like a bottom at a gay bar. It just gets slurped uh -huh. in. Sorry, I had to make that joke because it was. That's. I'm in shock. Slur. Um, Slur. <laughs> <laughs> How was that even possible? Uh, 
Uh, it's... I'm... Are you sure you didn't hit the power <laughs> icon at some point on your calculator? No. No. No, that's just the rollers. That's just the rollers of base. It. I think I'm gonna put a cap on that. Jesus fucking Christ. It's gonna like... And one shot the Alien Beast. Yeah! Yeah! I mean... Hold up. I'm gonna have to look this up. It would pretty much one shot the Alien Beast. Yeah, I'm gonna put a hard cap on that. Um, so as the chaos of what the fuck just happened wears off, um, you're all left in a little bit of shock. I think Lunarius came in and went, I'm just going to give you guys a leg up. As you're all and standing there, battered, bruised, and all of all of the enhancing magics surrounding you wear off completely. Bye, wasps. No, the, wa the wasps are just... The wasps oh, just, fuck it. The wasps just fly off to, like, the nearest tree and <laughs> steal and just steal the nest that was already there. <laughs> I, I guess the I guess nuts. the antlers that just appeared on. Well, how the fuck would it even fit on Luna's head? I'm just gonna I'm assume that two of her horns turn, two of her horns turn into an antlers. Yeah, I was gonna say that's what I picture in my head is like the ant, like her horns just extend into like an antler, into like an antler-like shape. Yes. So you're just sitting there in shock as the what to what the fuck just happened. As Aurelus and his own duplicate are sitting there, a bit, yeah, they're standing there looking at each other, both trying their best not to laugh. As to what the fuck they just managed to pull off. Wait, does that have free will? In this case, to some capacity, because you're in a bit of shock as well. Because you've just seen this monstros- this looming monstrosity basically get ripped into tiny pieces. So what is the actual- what is the actual effect of- So, before I come in and modify it slightly, um, Shattering Emerald, what it does is it does eight times- the car, the caster's charisma modifier as non-elemental damage. Don't don't nerf it until we're done with something else. <laughs> the target takes damage equal to octuple the caster's charisma modifier, with each infinite duration buff doubling the damage the spell deals. What? Because this oh is meant God. this is meant to be used in tandem with the infinity rune that does it for. A finite number of buffs each time it's used. Note to self. Um, uh oh. Lucas made something that's slightly too strong, but what's new? This is more than slightly like this. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think it would be that strong considering. You made a game breaking thing. <laughs> yes, I'm aware. I just watched it completely splatter an encounter. That is definitely getting the hardest fucking nerf you've ever seen. Well, at least it's memorable. Yeah, it's definitely memorable. Hmm. Goodbye encounter that I spent hours on. Um. Anyway. Don't worry, Lucas. Moving onwards. That's my own fucking fault. The fuck are you on about? I'm so bad. Hmm. I'm so bad. Hold it, doesn't. No, really. So. After your impromptu surprise, um, I'm just going to move you back over to the hub map for a little bit whilst I figure out what the fuck's going on. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure any of the uh, the social interactions I always had will be somewhere along the lines of what and the, the fuck. So, it seems like. Can you all make a religion check for me, please? I'm like, we're turning religious now? Yes. <laughs> oh, guys! I saw the face of God in the crack of the universe! The... Uh, that's a 37. 
23. 26. I'd like to point out, I, I ended that fight with a 205 charisma stat. So, you recognize that there is a pat there is a strange power in the air. And it seems as though whatever it was that just happened, whatever the fuck that was, it appears that there was some sort, some degree of divine intervention involved here. As you recognize an intense magical energy, you would, you are not familiar with which deity this is, but you are aware of a day of some sort of deific influence. So I was working out with the current stats how much fucking damage I do with the. Uh... Before nothing stuff. So. Um, a lot. Which god was it? Was are it Lunarius? You are you familiar enough with a? Uh... Actually, I think there's only two people here that would actually recognize who this, who that may have been. Um. So, it's Slaven feeling really guilty and has come to help us out. Okay, well there goes the surprise. Yes. Oh, that was a complete fucking guess. Yes. As the god, the god of creativity himself appears to have extended, extended some of his magical aura into that spell. Oh. Thus, why it was so backbreakingly fucking powerful. Jesus. And faintly upon the wind, you can hear the words, Sorry! <laughs> yeah, echo out. Before fading off into the wind. Yeah? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, please take a, just a short second to just chit-chat on your travelling, as I um, try to comprehend what the fuck just happened. Uh, <laughs> holy shit, holy fucking shit, holy fucking shit, what was that? Oh. Like, the fucking sky opened up, what just happened? I don't know, but I think I've just become religious. <laughs> I'm considering it too, and I... <laughs> you religious? Now that is a sight that I would love to see. As, uh, hmm. I mean, who, who could not be religious? We literally know that God ex gods exist and sort of define everything we do. And, and I'm already religious in a way. No. <laughs> I swear to God. I already watch it. <laughs> you fucking whore. <laughs> Nolan is just gonna bitch slap you around the back of the fucking head for that. Ow! You fucking deserve that, lad. Go on, honestly. <laughs> Down on my knees. To pray. <laughs> Yeah, to oh, fucking dear. pray that someone will, someone will come along and clean your fucking mouth out with soap. Ugh. You can't tell me about body mouth. You wanna fucking bet? Oh no. Actually, you know what, you're right. So, what I'm gonna do... ...is... K is going to cast Mass Folkia. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take your current MP totals, and they are going to remain fixed, so that you are stuck with the MP numbers you have now, versus what you could theoretically have after that fight. Why? Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> I thought we were going to get our level up, no? Because we saved yeah. it from the last one. You will. 
you will in fact be cool. obtaining a level from this. However, I am going to leave your MP at its fixed point. Do I use so much MP? And yes, yeah. literally a singular level. Also, so much MP! Look at Aurelis' MP. That's a lot of MP used. That's not my current MP. Well, then update your token to have your current I MP. I did a fucking update my token. What is it? Uh, Just tell, tell me how much MP it is total. It's 454. It's like this. 454. No. Don't, bo don't bother updating it. Stop. No, because I used Stop. I used another ninety to do the thing, and then I used another room, and so I'd say it's about two fifty. Okay, well then I'll give you two fifty four MP to work from. I'm gonna leave that there. Short sure, form, because I have moved your tokens over to another map. No. Because remember, you were traveling in the swap to the to where the summoner heirloom is. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. You were, yeah. You were en route. So, please excuse me for a moment as I try and figure out what the fuck is going on. Also, yes, to answer Alec who is listening in but what but talking in the chat. Yes, that was in fact just a side encounter. Wow, well, you can hear the disbelief. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> Immediately cut out. So as you arrive at the Swamplands, you find Oliva Axton and Olivander stand standing there waiting, seemingly almost impatient for your arrival. I guess I don't get to keep my 205. Okay. No. I, I, I imagine that we've just like got these massive bite marks on us. Oh yes, you do. You are, some of us. you are absolutely covered in wounds and injuries. And they look a little bit mortified as you are. Right. We fought like the living embodiment of the abyss itself. It was like a giant wolf. Good thing. fucking god, you are absolutely- what, what the fuck happened to you? Uh... You we're were really left... unlucky. <laughs> you were left alone for like five seconds! We had wow. a religious experience. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, from from what it sounds like from the rest of these guys, this seems like a regular occurrence. Well, not a regular, but... Shit like this happens all the time. Although, shit like that doesn't happen all the time. We were, we were fighting the thing, and then the heavens themselves opened up, and then it just evaporated. And if you could zoom out, you will find yourselves oh my God. at the bottom of the map. What the fuck? There's some big fucking snakes. And yes, before you ask, you are actually meant to be able to see all of this. As this is flat marshland. You can see these big serpentine figures, like, underneath the marsh water, just moving around and catching small prey. Oh, that's water? Okay. Yes. It is swamp. It's basically like swamp water, but it is so dark and dingy and green, it looks like it's just a thick, solid surface. It's not, in case you, were, you wanted to try, but it is, it is deep, but it's not deep enough that... You couldn't, like, wade through it if you chose to. So you could just beeline straight across this map if you want. It's purely up to you. However, the white... Let me just give you an idea. The white parts of this map are actual solid ground. The rest of this area, within reason, all the green shit, is actual traversable water. However... Should you traverse through the swamp water, it will send out ripples. Meaning that you may attract a couple friends. Uh oh. Oh. So, you can choose to beeline through the water. However, you are in both a very beat up state. All of your boosts, buffs, and effects have in fact worn off. So, all those lovely stat boosts, yeah, they can go. 
and you are notably injured from your trip. That also means that all of your auras have worn off as well. They will be manually removed. So you are basically at square one, and in the most backed up corner possible. Suffice to say, things could be better. Sounds like they could be, yeah. Yeah. They could be a little bit better, you know? Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, I will notify you as a party that you are more than welcome to beeline it across the marsh if you so wish. However, you will open yourself up to a multitude of potential problems. There How is many a way of them involved there. Hmm? How many of them involved there? A couple. There is one one or two ways that you can sidestep this, however. Are any of you um do any of you know the float spell? Is it an elemental spell? Um I believe so, yes. If it is, then yes I do. I'm trying to... I'm not trying to stall, but I might be stalling a little bit. No. I can just fly. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, you can. It is, in fact, an elemental well, spell. not all of us can do that, Luca. Nah. I mean, to be fair... Hold on, wait. Letizia and Luna can fly. Can you two, you can fly naturally. You can fly naturally. Alec has the fly spell? Alec has the fly spell. Oh my god. Oh, this is really stupid. Seven, eight, so, what can be done, if you choose to, is you can, in theory, skip this entire zone. What is the danger of this zone? The Swampland, mainly. And there appear to be a very large number of undead monsters that have formed from the remains of the many, many people that have met their ends in these marshes. Ah. However, okay. if you are able to cross over the marshland, You can, technically, cross this entire location just by looping past the shadows and using float. Because Yuzok has float gear and can apply it to everybody. Is and there you any can just... danger to that? Ooh. There is not a danger to that, because you'll be floating above the surface of the swamp water. Well, I don't see this as an issue, then. Well, it's... Yeah. It's filled like a... Would we get a lot of XP, though, from um, killing these dudes? I would presume I would presume that if you chose to basically sidestep walking well, walking through this area, naturally speaking, that you would be dealing with the monsters on the walk back. AKA I would probably off screen okay. deal with it. Right, well let's float then. I feel like if walk that's what you is more perilous than walk back. So yeah, float. Yep. Yeah. Is this a party-wide decision that you are all happy with? Sure. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. May I use Aura of the Unremarkable to not attract any attention to You may. As if these monsters will all see us floating in the air as something that is entirely normal. <laughs> Just another fly. Yeah. Okay. Another fly with in legs and arms. And... It's more like a swarm. Um, I'm going to expend another use of Aurelius' Mog. God. Or in its spells. Hmm? There's a lot of things here. It's a very big marsh. And spend four of Yuzok's MP as he casts Flutger. With. Wait, can they do a cast with one another? Please tell me they can. I haven't just made a really stupid decision. 
No, they can dual cast with each other. Dual cast, fucking twin cast. And so you begin to float and basically just harmlessly walk across the marsh. The serpent the serpentine figures do seem to follow. However, They don't seem to register your footsteps. Is that in the dungeon? Is that in the GM layer? Oh, that's not in the GM layer, is it? Oh, that's not in the GM layer. Oh, boy. Uh, that's a problem. <laughs> um, uh-oh. Immediately zooms out. That's not, in the, that's not in the GM layer. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, no. Okay, um... Did Wolfus make a mistake? No, Wolfus hasn't planned this far ahead because he didn't think he'd be dealing with this for another, <laughs> for another six months. <laughs> six months? I didn't think you guys would get this far this quickly. Six months? I don't know! I'm just throwing numbers out there because I'm in a little bit of shock. Because I didn't think that you guys were just new. I underestimated the power of my own fucking problems. Shut the fuck up. Sorry, that's a really funny <laughs> thing to say. Oh, I'm not laughing wrong. when it's funny. <laughs> and so you make your way across the swamplands, and you find this strange portal. And it oh. it vibrates, pulsates, and twi almost twitches. At the presence of Accident and Ollivander's presence. In fact, almost, ex almost invitingly, one might say. <laughs> That's kind of sus, bro. No! Fucking! <laughs> That's not intentional! <laughs> I swear! I'm not trying to be sus. It vibrates and pulsates. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I swear, man. You know He's what? He's strangely bad, I can say. I'm not choosing the right word today, okay? <laughs> you were in a little bit of shock, it's okay. I'm- yeah, <laughs> I'm still processing the fact that Aurora's- because it gets even stupider than that, because you've got Mara like, that's naturally occurring, because you can get Maraxis as well. <laughs> so that it gets even worse. You know what, I'm gonna cap that at two, uh, a two-digit thing. Two I digits for what? Because we'll it, 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 yeah, it, multiply, it multiplies by 2 each time, so I'm going to cap it so once it hits 64, it can only go up to 100. It stops there. What does that cap it at? So it would cap at what? I think the highest possible. So 23,000? Your cap stat is 99, so minus 1. How much were you expecting it to do? Much, much, much less than that. I was expecting it to do like maybe like 40, 50,000. It's not a lot, but, but that's a lot less than 21 million. Yeah! Almost enough damage to fucking one-tap the Lillian Beast. You've also uh, minus the, 10 the damage to the Lillian Beast can take before it dies. Okay, so if I, cap, if, yeah, okay. if I cap it at that point, the maximum possible damage I can ever do is 35,000. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's why you've got to be careful with multiplication. Because how many buffs were there in the end? How many buffs were multiplied? A lot. Anyway. You... Gotta <laughs> oh. be careful when dealing with exponents. You follow into this portal, and... Without much thought being put into it, you just go in. Yeah. Because, hey, there's nothing that can threaten us at the moment. Yeah. Uh, you ab you're, you're brimming with confidence. I'm going to use the turbo before we go in. <laughs> okay. Don't, uh, don't do, do that now. Him, do anyone. not do that now. Oh, okay. Map's about to change. I was just going to change on my. I was just going to reduce the number of things on my sheet. I'm in power. 
Oh, do not pick now to start lagging. Do not. Ha, 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 ha. Internet beam. Okay, it's fine. For some reason, it, it freaks out when it can't load the full video, so now I've got to set this into fucking 144p. There we go. So, and then you're, you've removed, um, you've off your MP, have you? Yeah, I'm removing the temporary thing. Okay. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. So, you make your way through the portal and enter this almost like strange, this rather strange vault like space. And Axton is brimming with energy. Well, you see, this is this is where the the vault of the vault of the Solmas is, and inside should be our should be our family's prestigious heirloom. Right this way, and he is he is strutting like this is made, this is kind of giving you the same sort of energy that that Norik did upon his first introduction to you all, which is kind of funny. It's it's keep an eye out. Probably anything. Make me an investigation check, please. I'm not like actively investigating, I'm just keeping an eye out. I'd like to oh, okay. make an investigation check. Okay. Um Who has not very good. But... Would you guys like full MP? Twenty six investigation. Give you guys full MP. Vanus is going to start sharing out <laughs> my elixirs. Seriously? I what? have full MP. Why are you flipping me a little bit? You've got the turbo reset. Yeah, oh no, Mr. I have more money than I know what to do with. Poor Mr. Eleno. No. I've been mildly inconvenient. Feel sad for me. Three. <laughs> I'm just a rich boy that's not sure what to do. Oh. I sleep on a big bed of money and it's not very comfortable. Feel bad for me. Oh. I don't sleep on a big bed of money. I sleep at Lucas's bed. Okay, so five mega elixirs. I'm just going to ignore you. <laughs> this is probably the best, probably the best choice. Xanus is going to give you a regular elixir because you have less than 25 MP missing on it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna position you. So I'm throwing you from one combat thing and probably throwing you from one combat thing into another, aren't I? Right yeah, baby! Oh, like, Let's go! As long as we're actually ready for the encounter and we're not massively under level, do it. Well, you won't be getting another level until after the sale is concluded, because I spoke with you all last time about it. Then it'll be fine. And you all agree, so if you all don't like it, then... Suck my left foot. Why your left foot? Because it's random, it's funny, and it's amusing. So as you're as you're making your way through the thing, really pretty. Like holy crap, this place is beautiful. There are crypt like there are these like fancy looking crystals in the walls that yes, before you up before I'm gonna read Luna's mind here. Yes, they do look like they could make a delicious candy of some sort. If they were actually edible. But they're not edible. Oh, not. My, my mic did not pick up any of what I just said. <laughs> Which was, woo! Oh. <laughs> oh. You like eating crystals? Yum, yum, yum. She likes the way they go crunch. <laughs> Crunchy crystals. <laughs> oh, I have shot myself in the foot so badly. Why? Because I just realised how much shit I have not finished on this page. It's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything's fine. Lopus, you, you fucking... Do you need a hug? I need to die. No, you don't. Don't, don't die. do that. Don't die. No, I have a campaign to complete. You're the best boy. Yeah. Don't die. You only just got your damn fursuit. Yeah! yeah. I've been a fucking minion. How are you gonna wear it if you're not alive? Prosthetic. Bitch. I don't know. Touche. 
Just bury me in it. Braille speaking facts. Taxidermy. <laughs> Taxidermy mannequin. No, 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 no. Sorry, that, that, was a, that was a step too far in the, uh, the dark humor direction. Uh, anyway, so as you're making your way down, I've finished taking my notes and shit now. Um, okay. <laughs> fucking hell, some of the shit I come out with, honestly. Um... Wildly disturbing. That's still funny. I meant I meant to add a bunch of a bunch of cells to the bottom of this, and I put one rather than the number I needed. The number one. No. Why? 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 I meant to put multiple. I mean, some technical difficulties, though. So as you're making your way through the cabin, you encounter. You encounter, you encounter this big pathway that leads down to a shrine. And immediately, Axton starts leading you all down there. Ollivander seems curious, but relatively uninterested. Looking around for any kind of threats. He's looking around, because none of... Because it is common knowledge by now, none of, none of the heirlooms have passed by peacefully. There has always mm -hmm. been a horrific fight at the end of it. Actually, can I share this knowledge with uh, Axton and Ollivander, please? You may. Yeah, so, uh, I know you're, like, super duper stoked for your, uh, family heirloom, but one thing that's had in common with every, every heirloom we've picked up so far is there's been a really horrible fight, either at the end of it before we get the heirloom or afterwards. Psh! Nah. Why? Why would fucking you shadow me and chase me through my one. Well, unfortunately, your family must be must have had less sophisticated means of dealing with the problem. You see, so us then, Thulmuth, in that case, what did your family put in place to protect it? That portal. Simply enough, it will it would not open or allow anybody through if a soulman was not present. Therefore, we would have to be in this very specific location, at the very specific time, in a very specific order of the, things. The spur on the back of Pendant's neck is standing up on uh, it right now. And He's course, making a bit of a realisation mm -hmm. that there is a chance that this could be bad. There is absolutely nothing uh, that could go horribly wrong here. Well, this is our safe space. It's what makes us happy, um... okay? I don't. I don't want to be the guy Luna, to bring Luna, up the elephant please, in the room. Please, please, but... stop. And Axton leaves without further comment, and Ollivander just looks very baffled. Did you believe me? Didn't Looper say that Jelda was on Revenue or was last spotted here? What? <clears throat> Sorry, an advert just uh... started playing because it didn't loop. Why did you not loop? Fucking. <laughs> yeah, copyright right now. Oh, don't even. I will actually scream my fucking lungs out if that happens because it's such horseshit. Advertising on your platform, therefore you get this money for seeing our advertisement. Anyway, please continue. Sorry. You were asking. Me. Was being uh, you were being asked about um the knowledge of Jelda's last uh last seen place. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. He yeah. And this is where Kay decides to pipe up. Uh, wait. He was saying the portal doesn't open unless one of them is nearby, right? Yeah. Running after Axton, running after Axton, running after Axton. And as you get running back, after Luna after Axton. And I'm presuming everybody's busting out into full blown sprint after Axton. So oh, yeah. Uh, yes, for sure. And as you get down there, and catch up, everything seems fine. Does it? Yeah. The vault door. Until you approach the vault door. <laughs> the vault door is open. <laughs> and standing outside, Axton, Axton has whip, whip it ready. All right then, show yourself, whoever the fuck you are. And stepping out 
of the vault doorway is a woman. A chip a uh, woman? Ador adorning her forehead is a shattered horn. Black these red these red this red regal dress with black fur trimmings around the car around the neck. <laughs> Oh, goodness, darling. No need to be so upset. Honestly, did you think that you were going to get ahead of us? Oh, <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> and as you all arrive, there is an awkward tension as Axton seems lost for words. And the first thing that happens is you hear this arrow whistle behind you all. And you, I'm only going to describe this exclusively from Luna's POV because she has the highest passive perception here. And Imagine <laughs> would be the only one that would recognize the exclusive sounds that people's weapons make, as Kay has let loose an arrow from her bowstring. In almost a seemingly desperate attempt to put Seriel six foot under the ground before you have to deal with her. And that is when you hear. That's why we like Kay. And the arrow travels, it travels, it travels, and then you hear this... You hear this whip-snapping noise. This crack. As from out the door... Extends this... Ancient, mythical-looking whip that snaps the arrow out of the air. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Not today. Nobody hurts mother. And out of the doorway steps Jelva Solma. Holding the summoner heirloom. In his hands is the converging endbringer. Damn, that's not good. Such a cool name. The whip. He God the damn. Whip up in his hands. I'm going to assume we can't just talk about this. Oh, damn, it's dark. Move it down a little bit so you can see. <laughs> see what? <laughs> see that? Right. You can see that, right? Everybody yeah, I can, can see, see that. that. I can see that. Brilliant. Uh, move down the map a little bit if you can't see it. Oh, hold on, I'll screenshot it for oh, you. Oh, I just found it. But that will be where I end today's session. Son of a bitch, it's eight o'clock! I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> that was fucking crazy. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.